Hi everybody, Christina here from One Creative Direction. I'm going to speed this video up to try to save on time on this video. It's going to be quite long. So um, the intent here is to um, use this new um, paint that I found at Blick um, in order to replace the base paint that I normally use on my Dutch pours, um, which is the Artist Loft White, which, as you know, um, they recently uh, reformulated it, and now everybody's having the big white cells on their canvases, you know, on their final product, and it's just not attractive. So this Blick paint uh, seems to be um, about the same consistency and everything, um, it does come on a half gallon jug. I think I paid about $18 for it um, on sale. Um, so my intent here is I'm going to mix this up and I'm going to use the same recipe that I use for um, all of my Dutch pour. Um, and it's basically uh, 80 grams of Floetrol Flood. 40 grams of paint and then 30 grams of water and um, I'm going to um, let you just watch the video the only uh, adjustment I had to make is I added about another 7 to 10 grams of water uh, at the end of this um, you'll see me adding a little bit more water after I mix it for a little while uh, it seemed to be a little bit thicker coming out of the bottle, so um, I wanted to uh, make sure I had the same consistency with the Artist Loft White that I already have mixed up in that uh, that old old flood bottle um, that you see there in the background. Um, so I'm just going to let you um, watch the rest of this as I mix everything up. Uh, I speeded it up to save time, and um, the next portion of the video will be the actual... Uh, laying the paints down on the canvas um, so enjoy the video and I'll catch you in the next section
right, we are ready for the testing part of the video. Um, so I am getting ready to test the two, um, two paints that I mixed up for Dutch pours, the Artist Loft White and then the new Blick White. So I've already got the first canvas um, with the base paint uh, for the Artist Loft and I marked a little AL on the back of this canvas. Um, I just purchased two um, budget type canvases and then this one has a little B. I don't know if you can see that, but that's for the Blick. So I'm gonna pour on the same size for both of these. And um, so let's get started. I already have the base paint on and I am going to essentially use a lot of different colors of blue um, that I already have mixed up. Actually, it's the first time I've done a Dutch pour since moving into my new um, art room. So uh, I really haven't done any Dutch pours since then, unfortunately. Uh, so this will be a first um, in quite a while. Um, Sorry, I thought somebody was outside. Uh, I'm gonna grab um, a towel here just to make sure I wipe off the tips of my bottles when I open and close them. Okay. Alrighty. And we're gonna get started. Um, this one is a color I mixed up a while ago. It is uh, Master's Touch Thick body paint and the phthalo blue um, and I mixed in a little bit of Liquitex Basics Dioxys in purple in that um, and I'm going to try I'm going to attempt to do the same design on both of these canvases um, we'll see how that works out for me I have quite a few uh, blues that I'm using um, I just thought I would make it simple um, and do it that way. Great. I already lost my tip. Alright. I'm going to put these back in the container as in the order that I'm putting them on there. So I don't lose the order when I go to the next canvas. Okay. Next we are going to use Artist Loft Aqua Green. My intent is I'm going to blow from the center, so there's going to be, you might notice I'm putting a little bit more paint toward the edges, um, but I want my center to blow out on both sections, so. Okay, the next one is um, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Put a little bit of that in there. Ooh, a little bit of an air bubble. to go through and put a little bit more paint on here when I'm done. Okay, next color is Golden's Light Turquoise Phthalo. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. I was trying to read that without straining myself. Okay, so the next one is actually, I think I'm going to go with this one next. And I'm, I don't have this marked, but I think this is Deco Art uh, Deep Sapphire Metallic, if I'm remembering right. Hopefully that is the correct <laughs> color. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna save that one to last and I'm gonna go with the Artist Loft Ultramarine. I think it's blue or maybe it's just Ultramarine. Okay, and the last color I'm going to use is, I think it's material, no, MM, I can't remember what that stands for, something masters, material masters, not material masters, I apologize everybody, if I remember, I'll put it in the description, okay. So I think that is the only color that I'm going to use. And I may go back and put 
a little bit more of this Artist Loft Aqua in here. And a little bit more of this. No, I think there's another white paint in there. I think I might put a little bit more of this gold in my turquoise. I don't want the dark colors to overtake the light colors. And then maybe a little bit more of this last one that I put on. Okay. And you probably have way too much paint on here. Because I'm questioning myself. Okay, I'm gonna get the blow dryer out and we'll get this blown out. Oh, there went my light. Like I said, I've never, and again, I've not done my Dutch pour in here since moving into this room. So we'll see how this works out. And I got a different dryer. So it'll be the first time I'm using this new dryer as well. Um, I got this at the thrift store and I, I was trying to find like what the brand was and I don't see it on here. It might have been on here at one time, but maybe. Before I blow out, I'm gonna use my torch. I did shake those up pretty good before I started. So I'll make sure I sorry for reaching in front of the camera, y'all, but I have limited space here. Okay. So again, we're gonna go from the center out and the center out. So I'm not really too worried about composition, although I would like for, you know, it to look nice. So uh, I'm trying to look at my glasses here, okay. see the artist loft with the issues uh, the white overtaking the colors um, so yeah it's pretty consistent with uh, the, the issues that everybody's been having I'm gonna I'm gonna use my mouth I was a little afraid to go too much in the in the center there sorry again about reaching in front of the camera I'm gonna blow out just here in the center a little bit on each side my hair got in it. All right. I think that's good. All right. I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit closer so you guys can see it. And then I'm going to switch over to the other paint, the Blick. Um, the overall, it's not too bad, but as you can see, the white cells are popping up quite a bit. And uh, yeah, it just kind of overtakes their, all the color. I'm sure it's just gonna get worse as it goes along. Um, it's kind of why I tried to put as much paint down as possible because I, I always feel like it doesn't eat it up as much. As you can see where the paint's a lot thicker, it's not eating it up as much. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna turn the camera off while I clean the drips on this one and get it moved to another location and I'll get the other canvas on here and we'll, we'll do the other, um, the other paint. Okay. See you in a few. Okay, everybody, we're back for the second canvas with the Blick, uh, base paint. Uh, I got the drips all cleaned off of the other one and put it on my drying rack. Uh, so as soon as I'm done with this one, I'll do the same thing and then I'll update the video uh, with the dried results and um, get everything edited and get it posted so y'all can um, kind of
kind of see uh, what the results are and uh, determine if you want to continue using the artist loft or if you know it's an option for you to switch to the the blick paint um, so again this is the first time i've ever used anything um, with the blick brand name uh, at all i just happen to be um, I live in Ohio and I drove up to the Columbus area. There's a Blick store up there. I just happened to be in the neighborhood and thought I would stop and see if they had anything. I was actually looking for something else and um, I was looking for some golden um, medium and they didn't have any of that. But I noticed this paint and I'd seen a couple other brands and uh, wasn't really sure whether or not they would work very well. Um, so yeah, I thought I would try this one out and see uh, how much different it is, see if it you know works really well. I used my same exact recipe as I have always used. So I have all the paints in the same order. So we're just gonna plop these on the canvas the same way we did on the other one. And again, concentrating most of the paint along the sides. Um, so that was the that was the MT Thick Phalo Blue with the Dioxazine Purple mixed. And this one is the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And the next one is the Artist Loft Aqua Green. out a lot faster than the other one did okay and this one is the golden light turquoise phalo a lot of the air bubbles in there to get those out before I blew it out this time again this is the mystery but after seeing the results of the last one I'm 100% sure this is the deco art um, uh, I think it's Deep Sapphire, I believe. Uh, comes in a tub. Comes in a tub just like the um, just like the satin enamels. So it comes in that same size. Um, I don't know if it comes in any other size. So this is the Artist Loft Ultramarine. I feel like I have a lot more paint on here this time. Maybe I just went a little heavier so I didn't have to go back and add more. Uh, and this is the mystery something masters i think I, I should have looked that up uh glacier blue i think i'm going to go back through and put maybe a little bit more of this artist loft aqua in here just to lighten it up a little bit Lots and lots and lots and lots of air bubbles. So I think I'll put a little bit more of this. Oh, that's kind of dark. So maybe not. Okay, that's enough paint. Okay, I one thing I have noticed is the paint dispersing a lot more than it did with the artist loft. So I don't know if maybe the um paint was a little thicker for the artist loft than it is for the the blick and therefore the base is a little bit thinner we're just going to torch this i'm about out of butane i have to fill it up it's dying oh uh, come on uh, and it's dead <laughs> awesome all right i'm gonna have to fill that up before i do anything else but I see a few air bubbles. I'm going to have to pop those because they will be an issue if I do not pop them. There's a few on this side. I think I got most of them, but I don't want to leave any. Oh, there is something, a chunk of something there. Let me get that out. Obviously, not going to let me pick it up, so I guess I'll drag it off. Okay, 
Well, that looks good. Let me go above it there. Okay. All right, that's going to have to do. Get the blow dryer out. And again, blow from the center. All righty. Sorry, people, I didn't mean to put my arm in front of it again. I'm going to blow a few spots here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave that there. I was going to blow that. Sure, you everybody. But I do feel like it's definitely a lot thinner because I can already see my design just dispersing. But on the good side, I'm not seeing the white overtake the colors like the artist loft. And there's some interesting cells developing here. Um, hopefully, some more develop. See if I can get anything else out of my little torch here. Nothing. Okay. So um, I think I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to fill my torch up real quick and I'm going to torch this one last time. Um, and before I do that, I will pull you guys down real quick so you can see uh, what it looks like. Uh, definitely put a lot more paint on this one, obviously. Um, but like I said, I, I feel like that base was thinner and therefore it dispersed a lot, um, a lot more and a little bit better, uh, than the artist loft, but I can definitely see that it's moving off the canvas, especially on this side. Um, so I may have to do a few blows over here to kind of make it a, somewhat even. Um, but I'm really liking the cells that are forming here. They're kind of cool. And I mean, they're actually developing as I'm talking. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to turn the camera off after I bring you guys down so you can see, you know, the difference in the cells. And like I said, I'll get it all cleaned up and put it on the drying rack with the other one and then update with the dried results. So here you guys go. But you can definitely tell there's a little bit more paint on this one, um, which I was hoping that would help. But got a little carried away, obviously. But I'm really liking these cells right here. You know, and you have some white, but definitely nothing close to the other one. Like you got some more cells here that are kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm kind of digging that. So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of tweak in here and then get it cleaned up. So thanks for joining me. I'll get this video edited and get it out there. Please let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments and, um, uh, what, what you think, um, your clients would prefer as far as the end result and uh, let me know any questions that you have i'm working on another uh, video for um four different uh cloud pour recipes cloud pour pour recipes so i'll be doing those uh trials here pretty soon um i have quite a few shows coming up and uh need to get some stuff done for those but but yeah, thanks for joining me. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can get um, notifications for all of my uh, videos coming up. Hey everybody, Christina here. I'm back. I wanted to show you all the dried results of the Dutch pour. Um, it's not 100% dry, but it's probably 95, 98% dry still just a little bit of dampness right here 
but this is the Artist Loft uh, dried result. Um, I didn't think it turned out too awfully bad. Um, there are a lot of white cells, more so on this side than there are over here. Um, so yeah, I mean, not a, not a total loss, but uh, yeah, definitely not what we wanna see on the bed for. And here is the result for the, um, the Blick. And it's a little bit more, it's got a little bit more space that's still wet, but I mean, you get the, the idea, it's, it's pretty much dry. Uh, so I wanted to bring that closer to the camera so you can see some of the cells. Um, kind of cool. Try to keep most of the light. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, not too bad. Um, I will, it's, it's kind of hard to tell because it's the first time I've used the Blick, but it does seem to um, dull the colors a little bit. Like if you put these side by side, uh, the colors on the Artist Loft one do seem to be a little bit more vibrant. Now tell me what you guys think. Um, or is it just because there's so many white cells on this one that it makes this one look a little less vibrant? Uh, tell me what you guys think down in the comment box. Um, there's definitely more colored cells in the Blick one, but again, it's really hard to tell. Um, I think I'll do another comparison side by side once I get uh, both of these completely dried and then get them uh, top coated with my bright tone um, that might give me a better better visual on that and then after I turned the camera off um, doing those two and I just got paint on myself I just took a shower um, I decided to do a real quick wood round um, Dutch pour so um, I did a, a split split base um, and this pink I had made up a while back and after I did the pour, and I saw all of this effect here, just in the pink section, right? Um, I realized I mixed this using the Artist Loft White with the Artist Loft Red. So I think that's why I'm getting this on the pink. And I recall when I made this, I also mixed up um, I think gray. Yeah, it was, it was gray. And I was going to do a split base with gray and pink. And I had a canvas. It was a, like a 20 by 20 canvas. And I had made that attempt probably two or three times and it looked really good. And then this is what happened. Right. And at the time I didn't know about the artist loft issue. Um, but now after I poured this, then I realized, hey, that's why I was having all those problems. And honestly, I think that was the last Dutch pour I did because I was so frustrated um, and had no idea that, you know, that there was a bigger issue than just me. Um, but overall, I think this looks pretty good. I think it'll look better once I get um, the top coat on it. It'll really bring those colors out. But again, kind of noticing a little bit of dullness um, in some of the colors. So I'm hoping when I put that top coat on, it will correct that issue. Um, but I mean, overall, it didn't turn out too bad. Um, not my best work, but I don't hate it. Somebody will like it, I'm sure. So anyway, um, and actually this is the second attempt. I know the first attempt, I had a lot more issues with this lacing uh, effect. Um, and I, I scraped it because I was so frustrated. I tried like correcting it and then I just scraped it all off. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit more happy. I put a lot more paint on the second attempt, but, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share the dry, dried results with you. Um, as I mentioned before, please like, and subscribe, share, um, show me some love. I appreciate it. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.